Hello. Again, I'm Felipe Garcia from San Antonio, Texas. I'm a marriage and family therapist and a transactional analyst in practice there. And this is part two to the piece that we had started yesterday called How to Deal with a Broken Romantic Relationship. Um, and yesterday we were talking about how to deal and address and take care of yourself around a broken relationship from the point of view of ego states, which transactional analysis uses to talk about different parts of the personality. <coughs> Excuse me. And we talked about the, the first and most important thing is to allow yourself to feel the feelings, very often of rage and anger, disappointment, disillusionment, and certainly grief and sadness and loss. And it's important that you give yourself room for that, provide opportunities to express that in healthy ways. And then, then you also use your adult you, to think about and strategize the reality of the situation, the context of the situation. Is it over for sure? Is there possibilities that there could be some remedial work done? Uh, is the person already gone and living with somebody else? Or have you already been fired? Whatever it is, um, whatever the facts are, are important to assess and take in in order for you to take care of yourself in terms of future planning. And then using your parent ego state to nurture and support your feeling of a lot of feelings and get also nurturing and support from the people around you. And to avoid using your parent to criticize or judge others and yourself, but to use your parent to set boundaries if the other person's initiations are making the situation worse for you. So this was where we were yesterday. And today I wanted to add another concept, which is what happens between the ego states when they are interacting with each other or even internally within themselves. And this concept in transactional analysis is called strokes. And that's a unit of recognition. And recognition can be positive or negative, conditional or unconditional. So an unconditional positive stroke is, I love you, I'm so glad you're in my life, you matter or a hug, it can be physical, verbal, or nonverbal, like a nod or a smile. That's unconditional positive. A, and a conditional positive is, I like how you cook, I like that you take care of things, I like that you fix things, I like when you touch me, I like that you say those things to me, you're very complimentary, and I like that. It's conditional positive. Conditional negative I don't like it when you interrupt me, or I didn't like that you said that you would stop the grocery store and bring these items and didn't. So it's about something that the person has done. And then unconditional negative is almost never okay to give, and that's I hate you, you're no good, you'll never amount to anything. So as you're dealing with the stress of this romantic breakup, it's important that you continue to give yourself and get and remind yourself of the unconditional okayness about yourself. This is very devastating. This may have you in a tailspin because your whole life plan has shifted and, and your next plan is not as clear. Continue to give yourself unconditional positive strokes to remind yourself of your own worth and dignity and that very often the reason for this breakup is not because of anything you've done or anything that you don't have. Very often it's because it's two people's stories running along, making contact, meeting each other, and going together for a while in their lives. And at some point, because of whatever happens, one grows out of that union and moves away. And whether we like it or not, whether the church says it should or shouldn't, it happens. And if you find yourself experiencing, particularly the one being abandoned by the person who's going on in a different direction, continue to give yourself supportive, encouraging, unconditional strokes. You can also, if you have an opportunity, give the other person unconditional negative strokes. I don't like that you're doing this to me. I wish that you had talked about this to me a long time ago. And so you can certainly share conditional negative strokes. Very often, it doesn't matter how many of those you share, it's not going to do any good except to get it off your chest, because very often it doesn't help the other person change. And the other 
part about uh, strokes that you might want to keep in mind is that you want to get people around you to support you and give you this, the encouragement that you will get through this and remind you that time will heal as you go through this process. Thank you. For more information on transactional analysis, ego states and strokes, you can go to the USAA, USAA, USATAA dot org. That's the United States of America Transactional Analysis Association dot org. Or you can also go to my website, which is FelipeAndGarcia.com. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anything else you want to say? Mm -mm. Okay, goodbye. You want to